Hi there. Today I'm going to go over the parent drop-off map. I know some of you expressed that it might look a little bit confusing, but it is very simple and easy to follow. By now you've picked up your car stickers where you would have your group one or group two and your color zone. If you can see my cursor here, this would be Boundary Road. This would be our main gate entrance. And I'm going to start with zone one, which is the yellow zone. The yellow zone is for high school students only. A lot of them do come with Ubers um, and, and they drop off pretty early. So they would pull in the outer service lot. Um, they will enter through the pedestrian gate where the security is and there's a crossing guard for them to walk safely to their secondary building. Um, if you're in zone two, that's the green zone. This is a limited amount of stickers that we have for this zone that will pull straight in and pull in front of this little curved loop right in the access um, gate of the main campus. Now, once you would drop off your child here, we ask that the children are ready with their bags in the floorboard between their feet so that they just jump right out where our staff are waiting to receive them safely. Um, we don't want parents parking or drivers stopping and getting stuff out of the trunk or boot of the car because this does take a lot more time and it slows down that flow of traffic. Now, if you're in the blue and green zone, you will come out here, follow the arrows, and we ask that you get into either the right or left lane. This is a two lanes exiting the school and use your trafficators because there is an East Lagon police officer located outside the gate who is directing the traffic based on our campus um, flow and congestion. So when our uh, traffic officer out here is at looking to see who has on their trafficator, if you're turning left, you should be in the left lane. If you're turning right, you should be in the right lane with your right indicator on so that she can stop the traffic here and allow um, the cars to move out freely. Zone three is the red zone, and this is for early years students. You can see the arrow comes here. You come close to the main building and you line up queue uh, here. Now we have many staff out here um, opening the car doors of the students and receiving them and getting them down safely where they are handed off then to the early years team and brought to their building, which is just right here. They pick up and drop off from the same location. This parking area isn't complete yet. It's another part of our construction um, uh, progress that is ongoing. Uh, but if there is any issue where your child is upset or crying, then the early years coordinator who will be outside will direct you on a safe place to park your car so that you could get down and walk your child up to the gate if necessary. Um, same thing, we, we uh, ask that once you drop, you continue moving, have all your child's things with them in the car. Don't open the trunk or the boot, try to have everything there so that the car is always ready to keep moving and exiting. This orange area is staff parking only and it is completely full. Then you move to zone four. Zone four is the blue zone. That's where you're gonna enter the gate and take an immediate right. We ask that you stay all the way to the right as it is a one-way zone. So do not enter up the middle aisle. Once you get to the farthest end of the football pitch, you will start, you'll see a gate there, a fencing where you can be letting out your children. They will be safely inside the fenced area and make their way into the campus to their location, wherever that will be. And you can please pull all the way forward. We have a whole team out here waiting to receive the students every morning at pickup and drop off. And you know who they are, they're wearing a reflective suspenders or reflective vest. If you have any questions about the pickup uh, or drop off that we are recording, please don't hesitate to contact us.